tutorial will cover using the standalone 0 x beat slicer to create and adjust groove files that you use in the Fruity Slicer generator. To open an audio file in Beat Slicer, right click on it in the FL Studio browser and select 0 x beat slicer. Or if you already have it open in a Fruity Slicer channel, click on the Slice Up Sample button and select Open Beat Slicer. Alternatively, you can of course just open the file directly within Beat Slicer. BeatSlicer will then analyze the file and create a beat slicing grid of the file based on transient events. When you open the file in BeatSlicer, it will take a guess at the length of the loop and its tempo. Sometimes this is not correct, so you'll need to tell BeatSlicer the correct length. To do this, go to the Tools menu and select Set Number of Bars. In this case, there are four bars in the groove. The Grid Settings toolbar at this point hasn't updated with the new settings. To ensure that any tempo-based slicing operations that you do are rendered correctly, both the correct tempo and the correct number of bars will need to be inserted into the toolbar and the OK button pressed. The timeline updates to show the correct settings. Note that this will only occur if you have already gone and changed the number of bars in the tools menu. Each slice point in the grid is called a marker. The main reason you will use Beat Slicer is to fine tune the placement of these markers to ensure accurate slicing of the audio. To get a sense visually of where Beat Slicer has placed the slice markers, preview the audio by hitting the spacebar on your computer keyboard. In this case, the slicing wasn't so accurate, so to improve it you might change the sensitivity level on the grid settings toolbar. Press OK to reanalyze the audio. If your audio is in constant rhythmic lengths as it is here, rather than setting the quantize drop down to events, set it to whatever rhythmic period that is appropriate for the audio being sliced and press OK. In the case of this loop, setting the quantize amount to 8th notes yields the best slicing. One problem that can occur when using discrete lengths to slice the audio is that some slices will be placed on non-zero crossings introducing clicks into the samples. To overcome this, go to the beat menu and select Snap Slices to ZX or Zero Crossings. More than likely, you will have to go through the grid and adjust individual markers as well as add and remove some markers. Probably the quickest and easiest way to do this is to learn some key commands straight away. Successive slices can be selected by pressing the left and right arrow keys to move backwards and forwards between slice markers. To preview a selected slice, use the key command Control Spacebar. You can also select a slice by clicking anywhere with the mouse inside the slice area. Previewing can also be done by right clicking within the slice and choosing Preview Selection. You can also select Preview Mode in the toolbar and preview by directly clicking on any slice. To zoom horizontally, press the up and down arrow keys. Zoom vertically by pressing the page up and down keys. Zooming can also be done with the zoom tool, as well as right clicking and selecting from the zoom menu. The placement of the slice marker can be altered by clicking and dragging the marker point with a mouse or by using the key command Alt left and right arrow key. As you go through the audio, keep using the control spacebar shortcut to preview the current slice. At times you may want to create new slice markers. To do this, select the slice where you want to place a new marker and then press the plus key on your computer's numeric keypad. A new slice is placed exactly in the middle between the current slice and the next one. If you want to be a bit more accurate with the placement of the marker, place the mouse at the point you want to introduce a new slice, then right click and under slice marker choose add slice marker at mouse position. To remove a slice, press the minus key on the computer's numeric keypad or select a slice and press the delete key. Both operations can also be achieved by right clicking in the slice and under slice marker choose add or delete marker. If you want to scroll back and forth through the audio visually, use the preview pane at the bottom and click and drag the visible area. The size of the visible area can be altered by clicking and dragging on either side of the preview box. If you want to scroll using key commands, use the key commands shift, left and right arrow key. Individual slices can be named by right clicking the selected slice and going to Slice Markers Rename Slice. The same can be achieved by pressing the key command N. The naming dialog includes some useful category names to speed up naming drum loop slices. Name slices will appear in the piano roll when the beat slicer file is opened in a fruity slicer generator within FL Studio. Once you have finished editing the slice points to your satisfaction, you'll need to save the slice settings. Either click on the ZGR button in the toolbar or go to the file menu, export, grooves, groove file. If you want to save the groove file and the audio file to a new location, go to export, slices and groove, fruity loops. Note that if you open the groove file from a fruity slicer channel, it won't automatically update from the new file after editing the slices. You'll need to reload it to take advantage of the new edits.